Good morning, my friends. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to the second. Whoopsie. Come on, camera, please focus. There you go. Come on now. Much better. Okay. And welcome to the second karma, the karmic purification video. This lesson will only make sense if you follow along on the free PDF that you can download by using one of the links below this video, right down there, if you're watching on YouTube. So, if you haven't downloaded it, piece of cake, just pause me, follow the link, go to the page, click the link on that page, it will open up an online PDF, completely free. Great. Please join me now on page 9. Where are my glasses? Lesson 2. We're going to chant or recognize chanting, centering, and breathing meditations. Let's now scroll to page 10. Whoops. Wrong button. Let's try that again. Page 10. Second lessons, table of contents. For the chanting, we have the choice to either do the introduction chant or the recognized chant. Today, we're going to do the recognized chant. Below, under the heading of meditation, we're told to practice both centering and breathing, and that'll make more sense in a few minutes. Below that, we're told for the karmic investing to recite the dedications of merit known as both the two purposes as well as as well as the three cup of puja that's so once again that'll make more sense in a few minutes but I want to draw your attention to the kind of use of the words of the conjunctions or and 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 that's how you know of whether to do everything under the heading or just some of the things under the heading please turn with me now to page 11 Simple, easy to understand mindfulness. This is uh, Bhante Avi Vimalaram Si Mahateras Shastara has been adapted by yours truly without his permission. We're going to skip the introduction on page 11 and 12 and go straight to page 13. Today's text uh, chant is known as recognize. Allow me to read to you the first quatrain. Mindfulness recollects how the contemplative can recognize and observe any movement of mind's attention from one thing to another. Notice it doesn't say that the job of mindfulness is to prevent mind's movement because that's called the quick path to great neurosis. No, no, no. It doesn't say if the mind is going to move, but it's rather when the mind moves. The mind will move. So the question or not of whether we notice it. Let's continue. This observation notices any movement of mind's attention away from an object of meditation, such as the breath, sending out to meet the loving kindness, and performing a task in daily life. Third quatrain. One can notice a slight tightness or tension sensation as mind attention barely begins to move toward any arising phenomena. As we get better, mindfulness is a skill. And it's been said by that mind that repetition is the mother of skill. The more we do something, the better we get at it. Guys, gals, remember the first time you made love? Remember how spazzy and uncoordinated you were? But after a few weeks or a few months, you got a whole lot better. And sometimes practice is a whole lot of fun. Can you tell them a tantric practitioner? So same thing here. We're going to get better and better at noticing when our mind moves. Now, at this moment, our mind is in our, in, our, in our body. And so often we experience thoughts and emotions physically. We experience memories or distractions or fantasies 
physical. So when you experience a psychic tightness or an emotional tightness or a physical tightness, that's your that's a hint that your attention has slid away from home base. According to the second quadrant, home base could be something like breathing awareness or a loving meditation or compassionate meditation or just our daily tasks as we go through life. Fourth quatrain. Pleasant or painful feeling can occur in any one of the six sense doors. Any sights, any sight, sense, taste, touch, or thought can cause this pulling sensation to begin. Is there one missing? Sight, scent, ah, sound is missing. Editing opportunity. Any, uh, so, any, oh, there it is, my mistake. Any sight, sound, any sound, <laughs> any sound, sight, scent, taste and touch or thought can cause this pulling sensation to begin. With careful, non-condemning observation, the contemplative could notice a slight tightening sensation. Recognizing early movement is vital to successful meditation. One then continues on to release. So as you can tell, the recognized portion of our chant is much shorter than the introduction portion of our chant. We're going to chant this right now together using the triplet chant. It's very simple. Mindfulness recollects how the contemplative can recognize and observe any movement of mind's attention from one thing to another. This observation notices any movement of mind's attention away from an object of meditation, such as the breath sending out made a loving kindness or performing a task in daily life. One could notice a slight tightness or tension sensation as mind's attention barely begins to move toward any arising phenomena. Pleasant or painful feeling can occur at any one of the six sense doors. Any sound, sight, scent, taste, touch or thought can cause the, this pulling sensation to begin. With careful, non-condemning observation, the contemplative could notice a slight tightening sensation. Recognizing early movement is vital to successful meditation, one that continues on to release. Release will be explored in greater detail in the next lesson. Please turn with me now to page 14. Page 14 is a review of what we've already learned. It contains the three centering exercises we already learned. On the right hand, we're going to start our counting by placing the tip of the right thumb at the base of the right of the finger. Grin to lungs, releasing. Now we count the three creases, or we count the three repetitions of the second exercise on the three creases of the right ring finger. Grind diaphragm, releasing. Grind bowels, releasing. Now to count the three repetitions of the third exercise on the three creases of the right middle finger.
Please turn with me now to page 14. My mistake, we're already on page 14. Please join me now on page 15. Now, on 15, we see something new. Although we're familiar with the exercise, how long breath, relaxing. Yesterday, we only did that three times. Today, we're going to do it 15 times, which is 12 more than yesterday. Now, this is where it could get confusing, so really pay attention. Take your eyes off the text and follow me on the video. I'm going to pan the camera down. So, yesterday I told you to put your left hand flat in your lap, palm up. Come on, camera. Put your right hand on top of that, thumb's not touching. Come on, camera. And yesterday we counted the first exercise on our pinky, the second exercise on our ring finger, third exercise on our middle finger, the fourth exercise on our index finger. Now three creases on four fingers, three times twelve, I'm sorry, three times four is twelve. So how are we going to count twelve more? Wow, that camera is really freaking out. Well, we're going to do a second lap on our pinky, and then our ring finger, and then our middle finger, and then our index finger. Now that begs a very important question. If we were relaxing during this meditation training, how do we keep from losing count? How do we know if we're on our first set of 12 breaths or our second set of 12 breaths? The solution is very simple. We're going to touch, we're going to take our left ring finger and at its tip, we're going to balance the great big knuckle at the very base of our right ring finger. So that way, and that way we'll count our, hmm, on the second thought, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's put that finger back down. What we're going to do is take our right thumb and touch that to, I'm sorry, our left thumb, touch that to our left ring finger, and slide that thumb down to the third set of creases, the second set of creases, and then the first set of creases at the very base of that left ring finger. This is going to tell us what we're, what we're doing on our right hand is our first set of 12 creases, our first set of breaths. After the first set, after we've completed the first set of 12 breaths on our right hand, the thumb at the base of our, the thumb will slide up our left, the left thumb will slide up our left ring finger to the second set of creases. And then when the right hand begins its second set of 12, we'll know what's going on. So we're going to begin with our thumb at the first set of creases at the base, our left thumb at the first set of creases at the base of the left ring finger. Our right thumb has already counted on our pinky, grin to lungs, and on our ring finger, grin to diaphragm, and on our middle finger has already counted grin to bowels. Now we're going to slide our right thumb over to our right index finger and press that thumb tip of the first set of creases to the base of the right and next finger. And now we're going to perform our first set of three breaths. How long breath? Releasing. I'm sorry, how long breath? Relaxing.
Now it's time to prepare for our second set of 12 breaths. So our left thumb is going to slide up our left ring finger to the second set of precepts. Our right thumb comes the rest of the base of the right pinky. And we continue. How long breath? Relaxing. Now return your attention, if you please, to the practice text. There's a dotted line, and below the dotted line, there is a new exercise. And it says that on the in-breath, we are to mentally recite the phrase, the word recognize. And on the out-breath, we are to mentally intend releasing. When do we use this? Whenever our mind wanders away from the breath, we use the exercise recognize to notice that the mind has gone wandering on. And then on the out breath, we intend releasing to intend to let go of whatever the mind is occupying itself with. Now, this is important. It's not our job to shove it away. It's not our job to make our body or our emotions stop feeling whatever they're feeling. It's not our job to make our mind stop thinking or ruminating or recalling or fantasizing. It's just our job to move our intention back to the task at hand. And the mind can continue doing whatever it's doing in the background. Let's continue with the how long breath relaxing and we can use recognize releasing as needed. Now you might ask, do I stop counting? The answer is no. We're counting breaths. So whether the breath is being used to mentally recite how long breath relaxing or whether the breath is being used to recite recognize releasing, we're still advancing the um, um, so return with me back to the video. How long breath? Relaxing. My moves. Recognize, releasing. Really And then back to how long breath relaxing. Recognize releasing. How long breath relaxing. My friends, yesterday's silent meditation was one and one third minutes. Today's silent meditation was two and two thirds minutes, or 160 seconds. We're going to continue progressing a minute and a third each day until eventually we'll get to, well, in the next lesson we'll get to three and three thirds minutes, also known as four minutes. After that, we'll progress in by four minutes every following day, or every following lesson, I should say. And here's the neat thing, if you allow yourself to progress four minutes a week, that's slow, that's gentle, that's easy. By the end of the first year, you'll be up to meditating three hours per session. Because you're going so slowly and so gently, your mind, your body, and even your schedule will subtly shift to accommodate it. Let's continue. Please return to the text. Page 16, if you please. We're going to review what we practiced in the first lesson using the bookend chant. 
by this virtue may I now accomplish the spontaneous habitual easy and effective mastery of Buddha's mental yogas of wisdom, peace, love, and joy and now lead every living being without exception to this ground and now we have the new recitation of three couplet puja we begin with the mantra, it's in the Sanskrit Om Namo Buddhaya, which means I, I invoke and pay homage to the Buddha's, Buddha's example. And then on the second line, we selfishly intend for enlightenment from me. There is a parenthesis, a, a, a line, and a closed parenthesis. So in other words, you can put someone else's name in there if you wanted to. The second couplet is Om Namah Buddhaya for enlightenment for all. That's compassion. So the first couplet was renunciation. The second couplet was compassion. The third couplet is going to be wisdom. Om Namah Buddhaya, completely letting go. Let's chant that together right now. Om Namah Buddhaya, full enlightenment for me. Om Namah Buddhaya, full enlightenment for all. Om Namah Buddhaya, completely letting go. Because folks, if we're just focused on enlightenment, our own enlightenment, we don't let go, we'll get up tight. We're focused on everybody's enlightenment, and we don't let go, we'll get up tight. It's the magic of the wisdom of letting go that really separates Buddhism from other spiritual paths. And that completes today's lesson. Now, if you, let's see, how to do this. If you have any questions or comments or just want to send me a cyber hug, use the Facebook link in the information below the video. But if you feel this went too fast and you sincere desire live instruction, perhaps in person if you live in the greater Los Angeles area, or perhaps live over Skype, if you don't, then use the LomaJigme.com link to register for the series of classes that begins, series of weekly classes that begins Monday, the 2nd of December. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Om Namah Buddhaya. Bye-bye now.